Okay guys, Josh just woke me up. I don't even know what time it is. So what did you hear, bro? Bro, it sounded like something just crashed through these trees. Bro. Dude, did you hear it? It ran this way. Welcome everyone, it is John, and I'm back with another adventure. And tonight we have ventured back deep into the forest here in East Tennessee to the infamous Lost Creek Cemetery. Now I'm joined by my friend Josh from Southern Afterlife Paranormal. I'll link his stuff down below. But guys, the last time we were here, it was a pretty eventful night. We actually had a large stone come from somewhere thrown at us is the only word I can come up with and it nearly hit both of us and, and hit a bank next to the little road we were on um, and of course the time before that you guys know some creature sound like giant wings I mean stuff sounds crazy when I say it like it's just <laughs> but it's true it happened and it sounded like giant wings flapping and this loud growl which sent myself and the person I was with that night running in fear but tonight it's a little bit different quest we have set out to overcome our fears and actually spend the entire night here in this cemetery i don't know if we're gonna make it because every time i've been here it's been something crazy happen so let's see if we can do this guys overnight challenge at the lost creek cemetery follow us <laughs> Okay guys, first thing we're going to do something probably not very smart. Josh is going to take off over here to that side. And I'm just going to kind of walk around over here. See if we hear or see anything. Of course over here, as y'all remember, it was right back this way where I heard the creature flapping wings. I'm going to walk through here. I can't believe I ran through here. All these rocks and stuff. God, this place is creepy, guys. Find it up over there. If y'all see or hear anything, please comment down below and let me know. Hello? It's like somebody yelling. It really did. It sounds like somebody. I don't know what that is. If y'all know what that sound is, let me know. It almost sounds human. This is crazy. There's a lot of unmarked graves too. This is the mid 1800s. I 
over here. Guys, I'm on the edge. I am on edge. So sign marks the location of the log cabin church. 1818 to 1835 it stood here that sign's been there for a while if you look through the woods right there you can see some metal roofing i don't know if that was part of the church itself or what one of the neatest graves back here is probably one that is not well known but it is the unknown soldier from the revolutionary war check it out first person buried here that's his grave right there somewhere between 1812 and 1814 Look at that nuts. Look at those headstones. See Josh way over there. And there's graves that keep going on into the forest. I want to come out here at some point in the winter when all the foliage is dead so I can uh explore a little more of the actual woods itself see what we can find i keep hearing someone talking hello i hear josh i hear another voice coming from back this way we just want to kind of walk around and show you some of this first Watch for copperheads this time of year too. They blend in with the leaves really well. Oh. You can't tell if you're walking on a grave or not. They're just headstones sticking up everywhere. Something weird under my foot. Continue going this way. She got the moon up there. Remember, we had the echo box on that log last time, and it just fell. This tree fell and just destroyed so many of the graves. Look at all the graves sticking up through the top of that tree there. They just the, the headstones keep going through the forest and they go way back that way too the most bizarre thing about this cemetery is there's a road that cuts out right in the middle of it and if you look these headstones are just hanging on the edge of this old road which is Kind of bizarre to me. It doesn't appear that the road was here first. Now, I could be wrong, but it doesn't seem that way. Over here with Josh is at. Famous sign here.
bushes over there. These are all the rocks. Mm -hmm. Dude, are you hearing this other voice like screaming? Oh. I haven't heard any screams over here. I definitely heard a growl come from the woods. Really? Yeah. And then when I turned Necrophonic on, first thing it said was growl. Really? Yeah. And I was standing oh. right here, and it came from like that open area. Like I can hear your voice and stuff from over there, but I keep also hearing like somebody. I don't know, it's this other voice and it's loud. See, I can't, I can't even hear you over here with so many bugs. See, what's weird is I can hear you fine over there, like you're next to me almost. Really? Yeah, I really can. But you can't hear anything over here. Yeah, I can't hear that over here now. Because when I talk, there's an echo from over here. Right. That's bizarre. Maybe it's because it's so encased in trees over there and it's not over here. Over here, when you talk, it's almost like a bend. Did you hear that? Yeah. It sounded like another growl came from over here. It was like breathing. Yeah. And this cemetery just, it keeps going into the forest, man. Yeah, there's tons of graves in the woods. Yeah, it's bizarre. There's only a small, small portion of what's actually here. Like, it's, it looks like it's ending right here. But as I keep going... And it's strange, there's no... At least no marked graves right through here. And then you get to another section over here where you can tell these people have more money. Because you look at their tombstone. What am I looking at over here? Josh? Hey, Josh. What's up, bro? I don't know what I'm seeing. It could be nothing, but I want you to be near me. I don't, I don't know what that is. It's back between those headstones there. Look at that. What is that, bro? I, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what that is. Let's walk with caution, bro. Almost looks like it's moving. Is it moving? I can't tell what that is. It's too far. It doesn't come from my camera. The thing is actually... Is it an animal? Or is this just a weird log? And as I'm getting closer, I'm starting to think it's just like the end of a log. It kind of looks like a root ball. Dude, I just heard that growl again. I did too. Uh, I still can't tell what that is. Yeah, they are. There's something about this spot over here, bro. I still... I guess that is a tree root. Is it? I can't tell if it's a tree root or an animal. I thought it might have been a dead animal. 
Holy cow, that's a big old spider down there. Ugh. Yeah, it's just a root ball, man. You can see why from a distance I was really nervous about what that was. Yeah. Look at that tree. There's some big old spiders in here, dude. There is. They're starting to wig me out. Well, I'm definitely sleeping in the car. I'm not sleeping on the ground. Yeah, for sure, man. You can forget that. Where? Oh, yeah. Dude, there was one half dollar size over on the ground. It's moving the leaves as it's crawling. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Man, I say... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> what do you want to do? If you're a long-time subscriber, you guys know I hate spiders more than anything. I'll go up against demons and, and mythical creatures over spiders. It's bizarre. Yeah, stepping, bro. There's, there's uh, sunk in spots everywhere. I know. And you can't tell what's an unmarked grave and what's not. I know. Kind of sad, though, you know? It is. It is sad. Okay, I'm ready to start investigating something here. Yeah, I broke out the necrophonic a little bit, but. I haven't really investigated yet. I just heard a growl. It was deep. It was back in here somewhere. You hear that? It sounded like something running. I did. That sounds like it's over by the other side of the cemetery. Yeah. Dude, I'm turned around. Have you been up in here? Okay, okay, I see the Jeep now. Dude, I got turned around for a second. There's a lot of these Civil War veterans. In the cemetery. It's just look at this. Everywhere, guys, everywhere. There's graves, just rocks marking them. Now, guys, we're gonna get some equipment together here and start investigating different spots. See what we can come up with. All right, guys. We're gonna walk over here because this is kind of where we left off the last time we were here, and just see how these graves are just right here on the edge of this bank. But down. A bit farther, it's right around this big tree over here. We we were walking around on this road, just kind of doing our thing, and we were facing back towards the car. I'm kind of looking for the stone. I don't see. I didn't even really see what it looked like. I just heard it hit and roll. But we were back in here and. We were walking towards the car there where Josh is, and something went, I heard it whiz by from this direction somewhere. And a big stone, a pretty darn big one, hit the bank over here and rolled down, which prompted us to get the heck out. You know, we were just like, that's enough. You know, something's throwing big boulders at us. We don't want to be around it. But we're going to see if anything paranormal is going on down here. Because we know this place is haunted. I mean, we pretty much verified that the last time we were here. 
Um, but we just want to see if we can get any answers. He's going to bring the K2 meter and see if we can get any hits on it. It was somewhere right along through here, man. Yeah. Because I remember that big tree up there. Right, and whatever, it hit the top of the bank and rolled down behind my feet. I just remember it rolling down the bank and I'm like, we're like, no, let's get out of here. Because that was a pretty big element of danger. Yeah, if that would have hit one of us, we would have been hurting the tree. Yeah, that could have killed us, man. I wonder if whatever was here is still here. I imagine it wouldn't go anywhere. I don't see why it would. There's anyone here with us tonight? We got a device here. I'll set it down over here on that. Put it right over here. If there's any spirits here, you can come touch this green light. Nothing that we have can hurt you. Bro, bro, bro. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can you can you step away from it? Thank you. Very wow, much. Bro. That was insane. Dude, Come on. dude, dude. Do you all see this? I don't know if it's showing up on my camera. I don't know, man. This is too. The bright. lights, Brian. I think lights. Okay. So thank you so much. All right, so we're going to... There he goes again. That is crazy, man. So we're going to ask you some questions. And if your answer is yes, I want you to touch the green light. Do you understand? You do. Thank you very much. Step away from it for me, please. Thank you. Wow. That is insane. <laughs> There's not been any electricity here, I don't think, ever. So, like, we know there's no... No, we're in the middle of the woods. Yeah, this place is out in the middle of nowhere. So, okay, I'm going to ask you some questions. Did you live in this area? If yes, touch the green light for me. Okay. Wow, that's strong, man. That is strong, dude. Those that's things are hard to set off. They are really hard. Look at that. It's it's redlining. All right. Thank you very much. You did live here. You got a question, bro? I'm, I'm just, I'm so in shock right now. <laughs> Can you touch the green light if you fought in the Revolutionary War? Oh, Whoa. that's strong. All right. Well, thank you. That is insane, bro. It's like on point. Are you the unknown soldier? Were you the first person buried here? Did you know the unknown soldier? Whoa. Whoa. Dude, that is insane. It's like pegging out. Look at that. Wow. Thank you very much. That's the most I've ever seen that thing light up. Did you fight alongside the unknown soldier? That will be a yes. Well, thank you. If I set up some equipment to where you can speak to us, would you tell us your name? This this person, this wants to talk, man. Yeah, man. Heck yeah. I don't think we did anything down here last time. No, we were just walking around. Okay, I got a couple more questions before we, before we move on, okay? Um, is there a strange creature roaming around here? Hmm. I take that as a yes, but yeah. it was very, it was almost like it was reluctant to say so. Right. 
Are you okay with us being here? Oh, wow. Well, thank you. Are we in danger being here? Oh, wow. Is the danger from the creature that I mentioned? It lit up briefly. It did. So I'm going to ask you one more time. Are we in danger from the creature that lives here? Okay. Uh, that's a yes. Well, thank you. Wow. Okay, we're going to set up a device here, and hopefully we can communicate with you. Hey, guys. Josh brought up a good point talking in his video. Um, he's got his dimension portal, which is a little bit different than my Echo Box. So we're gonna try both of them out tonight and see what the differences are, if there are any differences. And hopefully this person will communicate with us over here. What? You, you smell that? No. What do you smell? Come over here, it's musty. Oh, I smell it here, yeah. Dude, we got any animals coming out? I don't, I don't see any. I don't see any bear or deer. It almost smells like something's right up on it. I know. Well, let's look up on these banks, man. Make sure nothing's snuck up on us. Okay guys, I'm gonna make my way to the car and get that. Josh, there's something moving over here. Is there? Yeah, move towards me. I don't know what it is. Okay, it took off. I hope I got that on camera, bro. That was big. I don't know where it went. You go up here where I got better a better bird's eye view. I don't see anything up here. There was something big and dark right up in here. Let's keep an eye on our six, man. I don't see it now. It was big and it moved. Not really towards you, but towards the opposite direction. Yeah. Well, there's something big out here. Yeah. Big, big. That was huge, dude. I don't know what it was, but it was huge. I don't know if we're we'll gonna make it tonight. <laughs> Bro, we gotta, we gotta do it. We're gonna do it, man. We're gonna do it. We'll do it or die one. Okay, guys. I don't know what this sound is. This weird humming sound coming from the woods. I just went away. I don't know if I caught it. That was weird. It was very machine-like. Yeah, there's, but it, there's nothing over there. No, there's nothing here. Like You look at satellite image and it's just forest. I'd say we're close to 15 or 20 miles from the closest residence. Yeah. All right, guys, let's get this stuff set up. Okay, guys. I have the dimension portal with Josh's S-Box, which I need to get one of those. <laughs> Okay, we got another device here. It might be easier for you to use. Oh. Can you tell us your name? Can you tell us your name? Can you tell us your name? Oh, wow. All right, guys. So, we have a dimension portal set up with the S box. And we're already getting responses. Can you tell us your name? Let's say owl. That's what it sounded like. 
scratch that makes me nervous. Who is the soldier we were speaking to? Something people. Do you know the name of the unknown soldier? Do you know the name of the unknown soldier? Do you know the name of the unknown soldier? Lewis? Sound like Lewis. Would be asking? Yeah. Wouldn't be asking or would be asking? Maybe it was wouldn't be asking. Should we not ask who he is? What is your name? I, said. I don't know, I have to listen to that back. I thought maybe Richard, but it had that sound to it. Are you buried here? Well, you're gonna be. Yeah. I don't wanna be buried here. Is that okay if I don't? We come in peace and mean no harm. Temperature's dropping. It is. It's 76 now. It was 79 when you first turned it on. Yeah. Are we in any danger being here? I heard a yeah, but it was like a whisper. Can you speak up for me? Are we in any danger being here? It's that same like muffled voice. Some behind you. Who's behind us? What's behind us? Is there a winged creature that lives here? Something about it knows where we're, where you're at. Yeah. Will it hurt us? Why is it here? You say something's coming over to you? That's what it sounds like. I'm on edge, bro. I think it said edge back. Something edge. What's your name? How many are you, of you are here with us right now?
Are you sad that this cemetery's been forgotten? What? We are here to talk something, really. Yeah. We're here to talk about this? Is that what it is? Well, we're listening. We want to hear your story. Some crazy responses, bro. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm here waiting. No gold place of your eye. No gold place of your eye. No gold place of your eye. If you look old places, something, you'll yeah. find them. I'm not sure I want to find them. Well, I guess I'd like to find them on camera. Yeah. Can this creature hurt us or kill us? I'm not sure what that said. I ain't either. I'm not sure I want to know what that said. Well, if you're watching this, you know at least one of us survived. Yeah. Well, if something happens, upload my video. Okay. If I can get your memory card. Good point, good point. What did it say? I mean, the last thing sounded like a bottle of Dookie. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, when, I, when I'm in a stressful situation, I try to make light of it, and usually it resorts to humor. Yeah. This is a serious situation in all actuality. It said, fine, have it your way or something like that. That's what it sounded like. Are you upset with us? It might feel like it might feel like we're not listening because we're not understanding what's coming through it. Maybe. If we're not responding to you appropriately or not saying what you want, we might not understand you. Can you try to speak louder? Dude, look at the temperature. I know it's going from. Staying at 75 now. It was bouncing from 75 to 76. Six. 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 Young man. Yeah, that's what I heard too. The unknown soldier. Was he from here too? Same house. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Was he your brother? Were you friends? What? I'm not understanding what it's saying. Maybe when we listen back, it'll make sense. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'll definitely try to add some subtitles here. We were quality men? That's what it sounded like. We're quality men. I'm sure you were.
It must have been a brutal war. I appreciate your service and fighting for our freedom. Yes, thank you for your service. I don't know if you know this, but we're allowed to be free and pursue the life we want to pursue because of the wars you fought. And we just want to thank you for that. Did that sound like footsteps coming right up behind me? You heard footsteps? Yeah, I heard footsteps. And they sounded extremely close. That's what I heard last time, bro. It was like right behind you. What was that scream that just came through there? You trying to warn us or something? Do you need help? I'm getting real uneasy. What? I just heard a crunch over there. I'm getting real uneasy standing down in this hole. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yes, I did. That was like a stick breaking, like right here. Yeah, let's get out of this hole, bro. Yeah. I feel extremely vulnerable down Some here. Some definitely has a high ground on us. Exactly, and I don't like it. Let's let's move to a higher ground. Yep, I agree. Okay, guys. We're on higher ground. We're gonna move back here to the unknown soldier's grave. And Josh has got his puck. We're gonna use it. I'm, I'm still on the edge. I'm here it dumps, bro. Like, yeah, me too. That was right there, bro. Couldn't tell if something took off, or I don't know. I don't know. If something just got thrown. Something fell. I don't see anything through here. It's way too dense to get into. It's not safe at all. I don't know, bro. That was weird. Huh? My heart's racing. Set this up. Yeah. Things keep distracting us, man. Because back in here, I feel like is where whatever this creature that's here lives. Yeah. Oh. Unknown soldiers graze right up here. I'm getting turned around. Uh, I don't know where this come from, but somebody shot a bullet into this headstone here. Right there. Yeah, this smells real musty up here. It does. And see this forest back here, man. Something big lives back here. And it has wings and it don't like us being here. Because it's back up in here. I just heard something move. This smells real musty. It does. And this is where we had something thrown at us last time, bro. Yeah. I think it hit that tree. Well, we may have just had something else thrown at us, too. All right, so this is the unknown patriot of the Revolutionary War. 
Oh, it says friend of Henry Rice, bro. We gotta see if we got Henry. I wonder if... That's why I asked if it was the friend. Yeah. Oh, spiders around it. Oh no. Okay guys, we're in chilling in the car. I'm here with Josh. And oh, light. Yeah, it's super bright. <laughs> so it's been a pretty eventful night. Um we have we've heard some growls, we've heard something big. I actually saw something big at one point moving through the woods. Um got some good stuff on the the dimension portal too. The K2 meter is probably one of the most compelling moments of the night. Yeah, we had we, a lot of responses on that. We never could get it to go off like that again, but it was good. So we're just going to chill here for a little bit and see if we hear or see anything. I got my window cracked. You can't see it, but I'm afraid to roll it all the way down. <laughs> yeah. But it's so muggy out here. Got to have some air. And we got to be able to hear, so we got them cracked a little bit. And, uh... We'll update you if anything happens. Okay, guys, Josh just woke me up. I don't even know what time it is. So, what did you hear, bro? Uh, it sounded like something just crashed through these trees. Dude, did you hear it? It ran this way. Oh my God. It was right here. It just took off through the woods, man. I heard it go that way. Shh, listen. It's still going. Yeah, it's still going. it's still going. It's still going. It's back here. Oh my God. I left my big light in the car. Oh, jeez. It was deep in the woods, whatever it is. It was big. It was huge, man. Let me look over here. I want to see if I can see any tracks or anything. Because it went through here. Oh, I smell it. Oh, my God. Dude, look for any kind of tracks or a trail. I can't see where I'm stepping. It went right through here somewhere. Oh, oh dude, this is a clearing. Oh, the, the weeds are deep. Oh my God, there's... I don't know what I'm stepping on, bro. This ground's weird. Oh. Dude, there could be snakes or anything over here. Dude, it took off through here. It came through here. I don't see any tracks. I smell it. Oh, look, I do. Look at those broken branches right there in front of you. Oh my God, yeah. Wow. It definitely came through here. It definitely came through here. Dude, I don't know. This, this ground's weirding me out, man. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, this. Whatever it was came right through here. Dude, that was huge. Oh my God, I wish. I hope one of us got it on camera, man. Ooh. What? Big old spider web. Go this way then? <laughs> yeah, go that way. Oh, dude, it was like right in here. Cause it was like, these trees right here were moving. It's like something was checking us out. And, and then you, I moved and it went 
Was when you tree? woke me up, it must have spooked it. Was that tree down before? Which one? The one laying across. Oh. That looks like a fresh, fresh break. That does. Maybe that's what you heard, man. Maybe. But I swear something was like right next to the car. <sighs> like it was checking us out. Oh, wow. Dude, you woke me out of a deep sleep, man. I had just nodded off. <sighs> Sorry it took me a minute. I was groggy. Oh, you're good, man. I'm awake now. After whatever it was took off, man, it was like right here. Yeah. It was like right here. I saw these bushes moving, and you can hear it just <laughs> through the woods. Well, you can see the broken branches that were in the woods. Yeah. Holy cow, man. Oh. Oh, bro, it's like four in the morning right now. Four thirty. Oh my God, dude, my heart's racing. It's not gonna come back, is it? This light. Oh, it, it went out far, man. It, it's gone. Look to see if that's kind of shadows or something on camera. I hope one of us got something, man, because that was big. It was close. And it wasn't like a deer or anything like that. That thing was big and it was moving. It was hauling some ass out of here. <sighs> it, it cut right through here. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it went right through there. That even looks like a path at my... Oh, wow. I left the car open. I was out so quick. Dude, if something's in the car, I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm getting too old for this, Josh. Well, let's let's chill for a little bit in the car and see if we yeah. hear anything else, man. Yep, sounds good. Okay, guys. It's uh, somewhere around 6 or 6.30 in the morning. I know my stereo's a little off. Both of our phones are dead. Wow, it's been a crazy night. It's uh, the, the sky is lit, and we are done. We're heading out. Oh, I'm so tired hardly slip any guys just remember hit that thumbs up button for me if you're not subscribed please hit the subscribe button and uh, check your notifications you know make sure the bells ring for all notifications so you can stay in the loop of my next adventure this place as usual just did not disappoint <laughs> and we're gonna get out of here I appreciate you guys for watching and don't forget to stay spooky, my friends.